I have made a terrible mistake coming here. <laughs> My boy, you did exactly as I commanded you. Commanded me. And uh, what, you are another Dark Lord, I presume? Who I am concerns you little. But why I brought you here is for a very specific purpose. What? Let me guess. You want a red bed or some kind of sacrifice? It is not that simple. You're still far too weak. You must travel across Incendium and find my sanctum. <clears throat> right. Find your sanctum. But why wouldn't I just walk through the portal that's right in front of me? That is forbidden. Well, that's disappointing. And I have ensured that you will respawn here, even if you die. The only way to return home is by finding me. Okay, fine. But wait, where, where is your sanctum? Hello? Day 60 in our 100 days in a Minecraft nightmare, and I already feel like I'm in a love triangle between two Dark Lords. What, you don't think it's love? Look at all the attention I'm getting. We need to focus on the task at hand here, which is getting back to New Salem. So I should remind you guys at this point that I'm not very good at Minecraft, and we shouldn't stick around here long or at all. I don't wanna be here. Parkour. I'm really good at parkour. I have no real way to get back to the overworld. I'm also noticing the biome has changed, so that's kind of comforting. And Enderman, of course. Wait. Yes! So two days of ender pearl farming down, and now I'm ready to head over to this brand new and beautiful biome. I've never seen this much glowstone. It's so cool, and this is all quartz. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This is such a cool biome. Okay, all right, I get it, I get it. Okay, I don't get it. I clearly, I don't get it. This place is horrible. I think I, oh, do you see that over there? Pearl, ow, I'm gonna run for this structure, the one off in the distance, and I'm gonna hope that I don't get blown up by ghasts. Oh, it's not looking good. There's a skeleton there, a whole bunch of skeletons there. Whatever this structure is, maybe it'll have some good loot. Day 63, and there are noises as I try to enter. Oh God, is there a ghast inside of this building? Jeez, what are you doing here? Everything's on fire. Well, might as well put that out. I guess that was my way up, huh? Oh, of course, gas are the worst things. I see chests, that's a good sign. Diamond, another diamond. And so far we've seen mostly junk, a bow. <gasps> Ooh, unbreaking three power to infinity. So my next goal is to get inside of that nether fortress and see if there's any more gear or anything worthwhile. I mean, so far. Is there another? Are there two fortresses? I guess I'll check out this one since I can probably pearl. Hey, a terrible fortress. I love that achievement. I think I heard a wither skeleton. Ah, a chest. Okay, hang on. Let's just make sure the area is clear. Okay, we are clear. A diamond. Soul drawing. That's awesome looking. I don't know if I have the inventory to take that home, but I will try. I found a blaze spawner. Oh gosh. Fireballs are coming from all directions. I don't see a real use for this blaze spawner, but I feel good that I found one. Oh my gosh. Okay, bail, bail, bail. Do you guys see that? That's not like natural. Like that's not like a basalt delta, right? Might as well go check it out. Good night. I'm gonna head over to this scary looking structure because this area is just awful. So it can't get much worse than this flat uh what did i just hear a f a rocket i'm so tired of these gas okay i will take i all right that's it i'm going i'm going in in the hall of the piglin king what does that mean day 64 and I think I'm crazy enough to enter 
what looks like a bastion, but much worse. Make our way down. Hello? Oh god, this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. He has so much health and armor. He has a pickaxe. I don't want to go in from the bottom. They are flying pigs. Just flying around with netherite swords. He's on fire at least. This guy. Return to sender. Maybe I can pillar up. Looks like somebody else had the same idea. Are you guys seeing this beautiful area? Jeez, this guy is tough. Oh, he's got a knockback sword or something too. What is that? What? What is that? What is that? Okay, eat an apple. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Cobblestone. I gotta keep going. Jeez, he's like a pyromancer. Okay, he can't reach me. He's got fireworks too. What the heck? Are you seeing this? Oh, where'd he jump? Oh, he's all the way down there now. Did he come out of there? Holy cow. Well, there goes the golden apple, everybody. <laughs> oh, he definitely came from up here. Look at this terrifying room. Is there loot in here? There better be loot in here. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. There's no chest or any kind of awesomeness. Oh, what's that? A blazing hatchet. I wonder if it has any special abilities. Yes, the power. Oh, they're all coming for me. Potions. What the heck? <laughs> How long am I poisoned for? 30 seconds of poison? There we go. They dropped a little bit of, oh, what is this? It emits a bright light when dropped. Oh, oh my gosh. Is that all piglin? Are you serious? Wait, do you see that behind me? Is that more ancient debris? Just sitting here? Is it just in the walls? No way. There is more ancient debris in the wall. <laughs> We're gonna have full netherite. Dining? No, it's like a dining hall. Is there food? Oh, that would be so nice if there was food. Pig step! Oh yeah! Even in the darkest moments, pig step shines the brightest. So far, we're okay. Diamonds. Oh, it, uh, uh, elixir of undying. We're in the big pig, big pig room. I don't think they're called big pigs. This might actually be the solution to our food problem. If they're on fire when they die. Uh, yes, yes, okay. Some kind of like makeshift, very tight spiral staircase. And then there's just a bunch of ice. And a barrel. Chilling blade freezes souls to the core. It's a special diamond sword. Oh, it's another pig room. Oh, oh, they're pushing me around. <laughs> well, boys, what the heck? What's happening? Legitimately. You guys saw that, right? There we go. And now we're up to 53 pork. And while I'm looking at my inventory, I am realizing very quickly that our armor is, is not in good shape. There are four blocks of gold inside of this chest here. And I'm gonna turn this into a smithing table. Thankfully, blackstone can be used like cobblestone. Okay, seven netherite scraps, we're almost there. And I can make two netherite ingots. One more netherite ingot. We are getting so much stronger. Now that I don't need pork chops, I'm finding them everywhere. And what do I see down there? Potion bros. I hear them tricky, throwing stuff. Good news is their AI is super dumb. There we go. And this is some kind of library that I've set on fire. And what do we have? A mending book. Fortune two, efficiency four, sharpness four, knockback two. Holy cow. That's a good looking chest plate. If you guys were a potion bro, this would be your POV right now. Mending, let's put that on. On our boots curse of binding loyalty what the heck are these junk books another mending book here we go when we came into this central area we went down initially but i want to see what happens when you go up there are no chests okay well there's a door we might as well check out outside and i kind of want to get to the top and see what it all looks like here we go 
Is that a sword? I am super tempted, and so I'm just gonna take it. I knew something was coming. I'm out. Okay, let's get somewhere safe. This is not somewhere safe. I'm a little terrified, but let's see, let's see. The great sword of sacrifice and it drains the life of its wielder to inflict massive damage. Wait a second, is this where I came in? Oh, it is, and a subject to try this on. Here we go. What? That sword is a massive letdown. Day 70, and I think we have graduated the Forbidden Castle. I mean, look, we have the great sword of sacrifice. That's not a nice sound. Can blood moons happen in the nether? And I just love the butcher's skull in these lava basalt flats because I can get crazy speed and just jump over all of this. Like I can just run right over these little lava gaps. It's so cool. It begins our ultimate test of strength. Zombies don't stand a chance against the blazing hatchet. Neither do those guys. Push him in the lava. There he goes. That's one down and that's two down. Blow up. Let's go. Ba-boom! <laughs> Good riddance. Now explode. Oh yeah, there's our buddy. Well, let's see how he deals with getting launched into the atmosphere. Goodbye. You're starting to get a little overwhelmed and there's a pig in a toga. Babies, of course. Keep them back. This thing's amazing. I have a theory on the butchers. I don't think they're gonna deal with these lava pits very well. Water's warm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it over? Nothing can stand in our way. And so with the blood moon out of the way, it's now time to find the sanctum. So let's just run in this direction and try not to burn up while we do that. For 20 days, I wandered the wastelands of Incendium in search of a sanctum I knew may never be found. I found pipes, long abandoned, reaching out in every direction, as if still clinging to their original function, filled with death and decay, in which monsters spewing blue and red flames had found a home that I had happened to disturb. They didn't last long. I stumbled upon caverns of every size and color connecting together, creating one cohesive landscape of unimaginable complexity. I braved perilous crimson forests while watching every which direction as one wrong move would mean my demise. Cliffs, drop-offs, and unnavigable terrain mattered little to my arsenal of enderpearls. But the further my journey took me, the less hope I had in finding the sanctum and returning home. Why was I being tested this way? The further I traveled, the more guilt I felt for New Salem, the town I had abandoned. Knowing there was even the smallest possibility of returning home was the only thing that kept me going. Even through toxic biomes whose ground was wretched and polluted and whose slimes could kill me just through a mere touch. Something in me told me to keep going and so I did through the worst of it all and then some. I explored yet another ghast ridden quartz flats and I felt more annoyed than afraid. I had grown completely numb to the perils of Incendium. The fireballs screaming past me and the lava crackling beneath me became as familiar and comforting as the chirping of birds. I believe it was this state of mind that caused the sanctum to reveal itself to me. Its immaculate beauty juxtaposed against the inhospitable surroundings took my breath away. It was here I knew that my journey in Incendium had come to an end. And look at this thing. It is just magnificent. It has been a perilous journey, but we have finally reached its end. Well, here goes nothing. This one's for you, Jeremy. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh gosh, run half a heart, half a heart. I know you're here, Dark One. Show yourself. Color me impressed. You actually found my sanctum. I had to go through hell and back to find this place. Now tell me how I get home. <laughs> You've been in Incendium over 30 days. Look at what you've become. What's another five minutes? I've spent enough time here. I need to get back to New Salem and- And then what? Fight Blood Moon after Blood Moon, acting as the town's protector until the end of your days? Well, yeah, I, I guess something like that. Have you stopped to think about why the Blood Moons are happening? Is... it's not because of me, is it? <laughs> Don't be so vain, but you definitely aren't helping. You made a pact with the very entity that has plagued your precious town. Oh, you mean the Dark Lord? He's called the Demon of Darkness, and his presence in the overworld is forbidden by the laws of Incendium. He must be brought to justice. Ah, uh, I get it. So you want me to kill the Demon of Darkness to punish him, which will also rid New Salem of its blood moons. That sounds like a win-win. There will be a price to pay even if you do defeat him. What price? I'll, I'll pay anything. I, I don't know for certain, but you will be sent far away to a dimension even I cannot reach. You may never be able to return home again. I, I see. You can get home by finding the vault of this sanctum. Within, there is a scroll of returning. And to be sure you follow my orders, I'll be sending something back with you. We'll call it motivation. <laughs> well, guys, I know what we have to do now. First things first, let's find that scroll of returning. I can't help but feel angry and sad, to be honest. The nameless king of Incendium, or I assume that's what he's called, basically said, the only way I can save New Salem from the Blood Moons is to kill the Demon of Darkness. But by doing so, I'll never be able to return? And... What did he mean by send something back with me for motivation? What could that be? Are these coffins? What is happening down here? I hear sounds. Oh my gosh, that is the creepiest thing. All right, let's head this way. Where am I? Oh, what is this room? Daybreaker. <gasps> oh, oh no. Oh no, it was a trap. Um, how do I get out? Okay. Holy cow, that nearly killed me. There it is. Has a chance to drop gold when killing any mob. Oh my gosh, this entire passageway. I can at least get up on the walls. I think this is, oh, the exit. There's a creeper in that pit. There, did you see that? This is some kind of cobweb-filled section of the dungeon. Oh! Ah, that scared me. I think... Wait a second. This is the vault. Which side needs to match the other side? And also, I'm a little worried about what's behind that door. That makes an iron golem. Okay, so at least I feel a little safer. Uh, here goes... Nothing? Did that work? It did! Oh boy. Okay, there's trouble in there. <gasps> what is that? Uh, this is the time to eat our golden apple. Our suspicious brew as well. Illusioners. Okay. I'm being shot from all different directions. Got him. I lost my golem. He's on fire. There's something on the ground there. And... <gasps> Guys! I have the scroll! A long forgotten technique to transport back to the overworld where it all began. I guess this is it, you guys. We can say goodbye.
to Incendium. <gasps> I'm at spawn. I need to find a cow to drink some milk before I go back into town. I definitely don't want to start a raid. And what do I see just over the ridge? It's our town. 30 days in Incendium. The Temple of Jeremy in our weird house being weird as always. <laughs> What? Was that thing sent by the Nameless King? Is it gonna follow me? Day 97, and I know it's one of our last days here, so I have an idea on how to make it count. First things first, I wanna take a look at all the loot that we actually got from Incendium. Crazy potions like the Elixir of Undying, Daybreaker, the Great Sword of Sacrifice, Blazing Hatchet, Chilling Blade, and apparently I picked up this Holy Wrath. Can only load Spectral Arrows. Okay, I very clearly don't know what it does, but I have a feeling it explodes a whole bunch of stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at that soul drawing. We can finally appreciate it here. So I, it's going to follow me until I kill the demon of darkness. There is no escaping it. I thought I had more time, but it sounds like I don't. So. Let's start on my very last project. I spent the rest of the day collecting these resources and tomorrow we are going to start on my favorite build to date. Day 98 and we have a time lapse to do, so let's go. Sometimes the end of something is just the beginning of something new. That's what I love about Minecraft is it doesn't really matter what you build. It's just about the story that you build around it. I really fell in love with New Salem. This is real avid talking right now. This project is probably one of my favorite projects of all time. And I hope that the love that I had for it was evident in my videos because I would love to do another project like this. I would love to revisit New Salem again. And while this video isn't over, I'm excited for you to see how it all ends. I am super proud of this build, you guys, but I'll be honest, it was a really scary experience because this horrifying thing followed me from the nether, and whenever I look at it, it vanishes in a terrifying scream, so I think somebody's trying to tell me that today is my last day in New Salem. Let's finish this, you guys. I summon you, Demon of Darkness. Show yourself. He, he's here, that's him. Let's set up my elixir of undying. There we go, okay, now we can take him head on. Okay, he summoned some monsters now. Whoa, okay, things are falling from the sky. And I can hear the stalker somewhere around as well. His health is still really high, you guys. Okay, I have him over halfway down. Come on. Something's happening. Fire raining down from the sky. Come on. Why won't you die? We're moving in. Let's go. Die. This is for New Salem. He's invulnerable. Come on. He's got no health. This must be his swan song of death. <laughs> yes, he's dead. Back down to incendium, you wretched thing. You Whoa. actually What's did it. Well, now for the not so fun part. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm. I'm falling. Hello? Hello? Anybody? What. What is this thing? Why is it so dark? Oh my gosh. I think I know what this is. This is Limbo. 